Hey guys, back with another video for my addictive blogging channel and in this video I will be discussing how you can measure ECG and blood pressure via the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. So the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is a great watch and it comes with a lot of features although the ECG and the blood pressure are not available in many of the countries up there including India and now these features are available on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and not only these features are available they are working perfectly fine also you will get the ecg report directly on your phone along with your heart readings and the average heart rate and obviously you will also get to know if you are having any symptoms that means anything which can be really really dangerous for your health so it is a really really important feature so this will be definitely a sick video guys and if you are a tech to sales don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this this is addictive blogging and you are watching my channel first of all to enable these features you need to install some of the apps on your phone and also on your samsung galaxy watch 4 so the first app you need to install on your phone is the shm mod companion so i will be leaving the link of this app on the description so once you have installed this app you will get a lot of options from where you have to install the shm mod companion app so first install this app by opening the drive link so once you open the drive link you will be seeing that an app will be downloaded and you just need to install the app second thing which you need to install for the samsung galaxy watch 4 is obviously shm wear os mod version so this is a really really important app which you need to install on the samsung galaxy watch 4 so for this you need to first again open the drive link and get the app downloaded and once you have downloaded the app you need to perform some other options so obviously to install apps on your samsung galaxy watch 4 you need to enable the developer options first so for this you need to come to the settings of this watch and once you are in the settings you need to come to the about watch option in the about watch option you need to scroll down and you need to come to software info and here in the software version you need to tap multiple times until you will get the option developer mode turned on so once you have turned on the developer mode you need to again come to settings and here in the developer options you have to come and enable the adb debugging option which is a basic option for installation of any apps on the watch from your phone so here to enable the adb debugging you need to just enable the option adb debugging once and once you have enabled this you have to come to wireless debugging and enable this option also and obviously you need to get the allow option ticked in so i will click on allow and once i have done that i will get the option of debug over wi-fi so i have to enable this option so after you have done that you have to install another app on your phone so the app will be the easy fire tools i will be leaving the link of this app also on the description so in the play store you will get this app which is the easy fire tools once you have installed the app you have to open this app and once you open the app you will get this option in the top right corner which is this connection option and you have to click on that and obviously it will try to connect and the watch will be connected with your phone and you will now be able to install any apps and also uninstall apps and all those developer option things you can do from this app onto your watch so obviously if you are first time opening this app in the settings you have to give the ip address which will be there from the settings of the samsung galaxy watch 4 so if you come to the developer options and here if you just scroll down you will get an ip address in there you have to put that ip address apart from the last four digits and once you have put that now the watch is connected with your phone so here once i have connected my watch with this easy fire tools i have to click on custom apk file and click on select file and once i click on you will be able to see that both the apps are downloaded here 
the first one is the phone wear os which needs to be installed on your phone and you have already installed and the app which needs to be installed on your watch you have to click on this it will be with the name of watch.shm so you need to click on there and this is the samsung health monitor app which needs to be installed on your samsung galaxy watch 4 so you just need to click on install and that will install the app on your watch and once it is installed you will see that in the menu of the samsung galaxy watch 4 the icon of this app will be available so you need to click on there and you will get both the option of measuring the blood pressure and ecg in there so definitely this has been a modified version of the already samsung health monitor app which comes with this smartwatch and you will get the option to measure your blood pressure and the ecg so once you have done these steps you need to come again to the main app which is the shm mod companion and here you will see it will be written that you have installed the latest version of the apps so the apps which needs to be installed are the shm mod companion version and the shm wear os mod version both of the apps if installed you will get the notification in here and once these are installed you will get an icon on your phone also regarding the samsung health app so you have to click on that and now you are ready to measure the ecg and also the blood pressure from the samsung galaxy watch 4 so regarding the blood pressure you need to calibrate the watch so let's first find out how we can measure the blood pressure up there so samsung has been really really careful with this blood pressure monitor and also the ecg up there as you all know that some of the people can use these features in case of medical emergency which is not at all recommended and obviously these features are really, really sensitive features which detect heart attack and other fatal health problems so obviously you need to be careful with the use of these features and samsung has been also very very careful regarding these features so whenever i will be opening the blood pressure it will ask me to follow some of the instructions to get a calibration with the samsung galaxy watch 4 so why samsung wants this to be calibrated as samsung wants to make sure that the watch should give approximately accurate readings regarding the blood pressure so you will get this option in open phone and if i come to b phone you will see that i have the option to calibrate the watch so i have to click on calibrate the watch and you will see it will ask you to get a valid blood pressure monitor so samsung doesn't want any of the legal trouble out there it wants to make sure all the readings should be approximately accurate and for that it wants you to first calibrate the watch with the blood pressure monitor so here you can see that my watch is measuring the blood pressure and obviously it has also told to measure the blood pressure with a real blood pressure monitor up there so let's see what are the readings coming in the blood pressure monitor via this watch so here you can see instead of showing me the readings it is first asking me to enter the reading which i have taken from the real blood pressure monitor so why it is asking is obviously it will check and match the data with the watch and will see whether it is approximately accurate or not then only it will show the data to me so that samsung can be out of any of the legal trouble regarding this so this is not working if you are not having a real blood pressure monitor so right now i will be skipping this option and now i will come to the ecg option so the ecg option is a much better option in the samsung galaxy watch 4 so to get the reading you have to again come to the samsung galaxy watch 4 and here you will get the ecg option and you need to make sure the watch should be snugly fit on your wrist and also you need to make sure that you are still absolutely still and you have to lightly put your finger in the home key so it is measuring the ecg and also it is measuring the average heart rate so here i have got the ecg report and obviously everything is all right with me 
if you are having any symptoms like shortness of breath or you are having palpitations i will recommend you to go to doctor but it can be used as an initial checkup if i scroll down you will get the average heart rate you can add some of the symptoms up there if you are having any and here are the symptoms which you can choose from here so samsung will be taking all this data and really improve the ecg monitor and definitely again samsung wants to keep out of travel and here it is really really careful it has given a lot of disclaimer out there definitely samsung has done a really great job in the ecg department and also samsung is so much concerned of the legal issues in india and it has completely blocked this ecg and the blood pressure monitor options so definitely now let's come to the samsung health app and let's see what are the data we are getting from here so here is a sinus rhythm which is the reading of the ecg report i have got from the watch and if i just click on here you will see all the readings which it has taken so average heart rate is 95 bpm and this is the graph not only the graph is there it can generate a real ecg report with the date and time just like we get in an hospital or during a checkup which is really really great and not seen uh, in normal watches nowadays so this is a really good improvement with the ecg app on the samsung galaxy watch 4 and definitely if you have any symptoms it will show here regarding the shortness of breath or if you are feeling unwell so definitely it is a very very good feature the ecg feature is working really well and you can see all the ecg reports are here whichever i have taken that's it for now i just wanted to show you how you can enable deep blood pressure monitor and ecg on your samsung galaxy watch 4 i hope you have liked this video if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit that bell notification up because i will be making more videos like this so thank you guys have a great day thank you